They've been coming by the hundreds and hundreds on the last Saturday of February for the past 54 years. The event at the Old Decatur High School has always been the place to catch up and chow down, and that's exactly what they do. It's called the Kiwanis Club's annual Pancake Day with flout jacks aplenty, and for $5, all you can eat in advance or $7 at the door. Man, they'll be out of sausage by the time y'all get there. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> they'll make more. Huh? It's all going down. They'll make more. There he is. Hey, Mo, what's up? How are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing way over here? Hungry? Do you need some tickets? Uh, thank you. Some. There you go. I think we have tickets. some, but uh, I don't know. Give them away to someone. Yeah. All right. Hey, James. <laughs> How are y'all? I'm trying to get on my way out. Now that you have the hat, you can join Kiwanis, okay? All right, thank so you. So you can do that. <laughs> Let us know if y'all need any help on that. Thank you, Jamie. All right. All right. Thank you, Jamie. See y'all. Nice to meet you. Are we leaving? How's business today? Oh, it's good. Oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> Jamie, I saw you out there. You hadn't changed a bit in 50 years. Though. Thank you. I've been doing TV about that long, too. Well, the last time I was on you here. Hey, Mayor, how are you? How are you, Jamie? Mayor, how do you describe an event like this? <laughs> this is a community event. Free publicity. Event. Hey, a lot of fun. Free publicity. That's how he describes it. <laughs> Doesn't cost him a penny. <laughs> Did you teach him everything you knew oh, about being Mayor of the Gator? Let me tell you what. He's unteachable. <laughs> Man, y'all waited a little late to get here, didn't you? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we, we got a little on the late track. Don't you have extra tickets? Well, they'll still have pancakes for you. Is that that take up? Is that that take out order I ordered? This is it. You ordered about a hundred of them. Oh, that must be for the Chevrolet dealer. <laughs> That's a lot of takeout, ain't it? That's a whole lot. Here's, here's seven. All right, so that's 27. I've got a list of five. All right. Hey, we'll see y'all. All right. What about Jamie? How, How are you doing? doing? I'm doing good. What's your job? Uh, I'm the trash man. Oh, trash man. Man, been it for five years, love it. I love it. I got all the coffee and the trash and the milk and you name it. That's what I do. Well, congratulations. Well, <laughs> You're doing a great job. Well, thank you. <laughs> we got to have our trash man. <laughs> How are y'all? Good, how are you? Water. Water or milk. What is your job? 
Um, I'm telling people that this is for seconds um, and not for first because they have the the uh, butter and the syrup in their box. Don't want nobody to get in on the wrong deal here. Roll time. Personal question? Sure. Is it hard to eat syrup with a beard like that? I use a lot of napkins, and it's actually pretty easy if you try one. <laughs> Just wanted to ask you. Somehow I knew that question was going to come up. <laughs> Y'all look at the thing. Hey. hey. What's huh? your favorite? Pancakes or the sausage? Pancakes. It's pancakes. <laughs> What about it, Coach? Is there a skill to this? Uh, be available. <laughs> <laughs> be available. Don't burn them. That's right. On the wrist. Maybe right here. Just right. Hey. Yeah. Oh. Well, you got a tight squeeze back here, don't you? <laughs> Go on, Patrick, get your chance now, baby. <laughs> Is it hard to burn a pancake? Oh, it's easy. Yeah. Just well, listen to Patrick and you're yeah. good. He, this guy burns every one of them. <laughs> That's why he's on the end. Do you see the perfection here? None of these are touching. <laughs> well, crazy. Hey, Is that the secret? He likes to run away from his duty, so we have to put him in the corner. <laughs> How's the sausage business? Doing good. About how many individual sausages you got here today? I got thousands. Thousands? <laughs> We've been working since. Thank you. Right, I'm trying to get out of the way here. Sorry. It's all right. My fault. <laughs> They're working on the uh, Lynn Layton's over there, so they got 130 boxes. Can you get injured? Can you get injured cooking pancakes? You can. I, we reached in the ice earlier and uh, stubbed the finger and got it start bleeding. <laughs> What's the call letters for? What is the call for more batter? Batter, batter, batter. Uh, you gotta watch batter. Batter, batter. Batter, batter. Batter, batter. Batter, batter. Batter, batter. 
Connor. You gotta watch it. Sometimes it gets too lumpy. Out front, what's the beat? Send it back here. Who's got the hardest job here? Me. Sure. All right, pancakes up. I'm moving. Well, cooking is the hottest job. Uh, it's hard to choose the sausage until we start buying free cooked sausage. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. There you go. Pancakes up. Is it a good job? It's a pretty good job. We've been here all morning. Yeah. Just about. Thirty-four, baby. Good luck, John. This is where the activity is. Hey, guys, got pancakes. Here in the old Decatur High School with John Eddington, he is the head honcho over. The 54th annual Pancake Day celebration put on by the Quad Club. Does anybody ever show up for this? We have about 6,000 people that I've come out to this every year. So, yes, we have a lot of folks. So, how many pancakes y'all cooking today? That'll be over 20,000. 20,000. Yeah, between 20 and 25,000. Do you have any calorie free, fat free pancakes? We do have sugar free syrup. Oh, okay. So that's, yeah. Well, when you buy it for charity, there are no calories. I understand. This is a big fundraiser. A big fundraiser. We'll, we'll get close to $100,000 for sure. Now, according to the article I read in the Decatur Daily, it says that people come here not just to get pancakes. It's not. It's a social event. People come and see each other on a Sunday. So this is just a big deal. It's a big deal. Now, this is about a little after 8 o'clock now. This is supposed to be the big time of day, right? It, it actually, it'll start picking up in about 30 minutes between now and 10 o'clock. It'll really get busy. So how'd you get involved in pancakes? What do you know about pancake uh, expertise? Good, nothing. <laughs> what I know is to know the right people. And the great thing about Pancake Day is it's such a community event. And so we actually have people from the school system that help us with ordering some of the materials. Um, Art at Mills gives us our pancake mix. And then we've got guys that have been doing this for years and years and years. And so um, they say Pancake Day runs itself, which is not entirely true, but we have a lot of expertise that makes it happen. What's the hardest job here? Just having a you know, there's not a hard job because um, we have so many different things that people do. We have people take out the trash, we have people to cook, we got people that clean tables. Everybody just does a little bit. How many volunteers are there all together here? Oh, you know, several hundred. Oh, that many. That many. We'll have we'll have a hundred kids from our key clubs that uh, help. And you'll see them around here. Some of the kids right here that are that are serving and waiting tables and doing trash and. Uh, and then we'll have 100 Floridians here, so we'll have 200 volunteers. It gets a little smoky in here, man. It does get a little hot in here. Is there such a thing as a bad pancake? There is not. There, there is not. not. And the sausage, now people talk about pancakes, the sausage is really the kicker. The sausage is the what? That, 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 the sausage is great. How many sausage y'all cook? A lot. A lot. How's business today? Pretty good. So this is all you can eat, right? That's right. She's doing seconds, so if anybody needs more pancakes Do or people, sausage. About how many on average are people eating? How many pieces of sausage? So people are hungry. Are hungry. And no better place to be than at the old Decatur High School. And y'all have it here every year, right? Every year. Every year. Every year. This is can it get any bigger? We'll limit it some of my space, but we'll, we'll serve as many people as come. You, you come and we'll Thank you very much. I know you got to go. As many people come, we'll, we'll serve them. So, yes. So let us come in and go through the lines. Through the line. work. And we got a lot of takeout people, like Lynn Layton Chevrolet. They'll get close to 100 takeout orders. They'll be here at 9.15 to pick up there. So we got takeout people. We got people to come in. We got a little bit of everything. It's good to know the Pancake King of Decatur, Alabama. Jim, thank you for visiting us. Yes, we appreciate it. Good to see you again. Yes, sir. Good to see you. Thanks, John. Yeah. All right.
obviously you went to Auburn. Yeah, I went to Auburn. All right, tell me this famous story so, about Auburn. So uh, one of my best friends down there is a guy named Jamie Cooper. And uh, jokingly, I would always call him the Country Rover. Unfortunately, he had no idea who the real Country Rover Jamie Cooper was. Hey! Uh, man, I'm sorry, I guess North Alabama's kind of your niche market. It used to be now, it's expanded now over the internet. Yeah. That's right, that's right. Have you ever heard of that? Huh? Yeah, yeah, we see him all the time. He knows who you are now. Okay, yes, so you I'd taught him. I'd explain it to him, though. How did you describe the country over to him back 20 years ago? Crazy. Oh, I don't know. He just. <laughs> It's his personality. He's a, he's a local personality. Thank you. What's your name? I'm J. Robert Fox. Good to see you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Great job. All right. Dang, Coop, you're going to make me burn my pancakes. <laughs> Y'all busy? On camera. Yeah, this is the A team over here. Oh, A team. Right. It's the A team right here. Whatever they told you down there, don't believe them. Yeah. They said don't come down because y'all had a woman on the line. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's right. What do you think we're doing so well? So, what's the hardest job here? This? Absolutely. Absolutely. Whichever one I'm doing. How are you, ma'am? How did you get chosen to work with all these guys? I do the lucky straw. Oh, okay. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Is that a hard job you've got? No, sir. It's not? No. There's not an art to pour in that? What? You haven't spilled any, have you? Not a lot. <laughs> Do y'all eat here too? Absolutely. Yes. Best pancakes in town. Does anyone need any more batter? Batter up. Batter up. Batter up. The best thing about Kiwanis Pancake Day in Decatur is all the pancakes and sausages. You, you know what? They are, they've raised about $90,000. Their goal this year is $100,000. If you didn't make it this year, please come out next year. Go eat some pancakes. Such a great cause. Here. 
Put the surf on it. There you go. There you go. So if you missed it this year, come join us next year. We're all ready to eat now. Time for us to go. I'm Gloria Cooper, but I am with your Country Rover. Bye. Do what? Can't you take a day off? Tell them I need a day off. <laughs> you do need a day off. Every man's got to have a little rest time. Is this a good event to be at? It's a great event. I mean, it's a social event and nothing else. You get to see everybody <laughs> from everywhere. Well, you ran into me. I know it. I know it. I know it. <laughs> Thank so you for good. those words of wisdom. It, uh, that's all I can tell you right now. I've been now. doing it's it a Saturday. few years, you know. It's, yeah, it's Saturday. Have a good time. Yes, sir. Well, now it's baseball for the rest of the Yeah. One of my old longtime buddies, Ray Green, will have not seen him forever. Who, by the way, let this gentleman buy behind you. Come on by here, sir. We know we let all celebrities buy. I tell you what. Yeah. Yes, sir, Lynn. How are you? Good to see you, Ray. Right there. How are you, man? All right. Hey, Ray. How are you doing? You don't know him, do you? How many times have you been to this pancake thing? All 54. You've been here all 54 years. First one on. We used to get we used to get coffee cans from the Army National Guard and bring them over here and use the coffee cup, coffee yarns from the Army National Guard. I was in charge of supply. Hey, hey, buddy. How buddy, how I you doing? I wondered if you were going to be here. Well, heck yeah. You've been <laughs> here all 54 years. If 98 POW can be here, I can be here. So you were just a kid when you started here. Yeah. <laughs> so you've eaten your share of pancakes, Mayor, right? Yeah, I used to cook sausage all the time. <laughs> if I ever get as old as you are, I might have been here for 54 years, too. You know that? Well, I gotta go Good to, to see you, Lynn. Let <laughs> <laughs> me get back over here. Then. You're right. Back to what I was saying before Mayor Fowler interrupted us here. Ray Greenwald, one of my all-time best buddies. Country Rover Story, Scotland, 1980, early 80s. Yeah, there in the 80s, where the beef. Where are the bees in that big old bowl? What are you doing these days? I'm still in the irrigation landscaping business with one of my sons. We stay busy every day. 79 and I get up every day. You're 79? Yeah. What is it you remember most about me when I was in my heyday on Channel 31? Uh, yeah, does this need to be good things? Or <laughs> It's just whatever you remember the most. I can't tell the bad things. And, you know, every time you tell a story, it gets better it's the next time you tell it. Or even when somebody else tells it, they add to it, you know, to make it better. So you're 79. 79. Well, I'll let you go. Lord, it's been good to me. Good to see you, man. I've worn out a dozen party names. I bet you have, knowing you. Thanks for remembering your old friend, the country road. I'm glad to see you, Jeremy. I mean, Jamie. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Ray. All right, Ray. See you, buddy. Bye. There's Jamie Cooper. Do what? I said there's Jamie Cooper. Thank you. How are y'all? Good. How you doing? Broken reporter. How's the food here? It's awesome. Come on out. It's delicious. Delicious. So what do you remember most about me when you were a kid growing up? Your craziness. <laughs> And you're still crazy, and I love you. I still do that. Thank you. Crazy, awesome. Thank you.
Everybody still at it? They're doing great. We're doing super. What's all the commotion back here about? Got Mayo Shift showed up. Change. Shift change. We on that shift work, man. <laughs> what is a shift? Four hours? Something like that, about five to nine. Yeah. About there, nothing. Okay. Today. Oh, it's exciting. I mean, look at this crowd. I mean, you can't beat it. How would you describe the taste of the pancakes here? Oh, it's the best in the world. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. And how about the uh, sausage? Sausage was delicious. Okay, there you go. It's good to see y'all here today. Good to see you. Thanks for shopping with us. Thank you, sir. You know, might have known the last person in line here with almost 10,000 people today would be my buddy Connolly Duncan. <laughs> well, how does a man who says work out as you eat pancakes? Uh, I have a lot of grandkids. <laughs> I have a lot of grandkids, and I get my yearly quota of them. So you good? I'm still really training good. people. Still training oh, people every day. Yeah, I know you pat me on. Look at a physique like I got, you know, built up and everything. How are you doing? <laughs> How would you describe what I might need for the future? Well, I think you need to listen to her. <laughs> Look, lawyer, lead you. I know this is not your first pancake. No, it's not. It's not. It's great. great to be in there. Oh, it's wonderful. We raise a lot of money, do a lot of good stuff. Just well, like you and Boyd. Good to see you, man. Good to have you back on the place. A dodgeball one day. I'm going to come and have breakfast and coffee with y'all one day. Finally, Duncan. I love you, man. I love you, too. I love you, too. 